So Justin Gagey has finally thrown his hat into the mix in a potential Conor McGregor matchup. And for that reason, I am going to give my condolences to Michael Chandler early on in this video because his hopes and dreams of finally getting that red panty night, well, it's all coming to an end. And sure, there are a couple more weeks of tough. Maybe he could try to brown nose Conor over text and beg for the fight, but it's most likely not going to happen because Justin Gagey is just simply way more relevant than him. He just won the BMF belt, the midlife crisis belt, and that is a perfect opportunity for him to fight Conor McGregor while Makashev and Oliveira are going to be doing business in Abu Dhabi. And a couple of days ago, guys, before Justin Gagey sent out these tweets today saying sign the contract because he wants Conor to sign the contract all of a sudden, he's interested in the fight. A couple of days ago, he said he didn't want the crap, the bullshit, the clout that comes with the Conor McGregor fight. In fact, he even said that you have to lose to fight Conor McGregor. He said this because Conor had turned him down multiple times in the past and opted to fight Cowboy instead when Cowboy was coming off of a KO loss to Justin Gagey. You know what I mean? But now he's throwing his hat in the mix. Well, why? I believe that Ali Abdelaziz, Justin's manager, the same guy that manages Islam Makashev, probably pulled him to the side last Saturday night after all the partying and all the food that they were having to celebrate his victory and said, listen, man, you know Makashev, this guy doesn't want to fight outside of Abu Dhabi. He's going to beat Oliveira and take a whole damn year off. That gives you some time. Let's get you active. Let's get you to beat up on this old bum Conor McGregor. You can get paid, man. It's an easy fight. I know you don't like this guy, but at least he'll get to wipe his smirk right off his big fucking face. And for that reason, Justin Gagey was convinced because he doesn't just want to sit on the shelf for an entire year to fight Islam Makhachev in Abu Dhabi, who we know is probably just going to have a, a scrap with Oliveira. He'll want to take his sweet, sweet time. And Gagey can strike while the iron is hot. This is his opportunity to get a mega payday. I believe that it was probably Ali Abdelaziz that convinced him. And guys, let's just be honest. This is the easiest matchup Justin Gagey is going to have in his entire career. Dustin Poirier, all right, was the easiest fight that Justin Gagey has had since Cowboy Cerrone in 2019. Take this into account. Dustin Poirier, that's right, the best lightweight striker in the history of the lightweight division. If you're just going on how many awesome performances that he's put on. A guy that had a granite chin, Justin knocked him out in under two rounds avenged his loss and now he's just beaten Poirier and before that beaten Rafael Fazeev who's another up-and-comer that a lot of people viewed as the next big threat to Islam Makhachev. He's going to be going from that fight to fighting a addict, okay, from fighting a cardio kickboxing class attendee, someone that has not trained like a high-level athlete for the past, I don't know, two and a half years that is basically in Ibiza partying it up doing pads every once in a while with some random cardio kickboxing coaches who's not humble enough to actually spar with killers, that doesn't want to get dirty in the gym with the hard wrestling rounds, that's not interested in going through the grimy times with the harsh Dagestani wrestlers. Connor doesn't want any of that. No, no. Connor just wants to chill. Connor just wants to get high. He just wants to walk around like he's the king. He wants to beat up on noobs in the gym. Justin Gagey is a fucking savage who's probably the best striker in the lightweight division right now. I don't want to hear it, not for a second, that Connor might land the left hand. Look at Dustin Poirier. Dustin stung him in the first. I don't give a fuck if Dustin stung him in the first round. All right? The first thing I want to get out of the way right now is that Justin Gagey is going to absolutely mop the floor with Conor McGregor. And this is bad news if you're a Conor fan. Now, at this point, guys, I've been a massive Conor fan for my entire UFC fandom career, whatever the fuck you want to call it. I'm a big Conor fan. I don't really care anymore because I've accepted that he's past his prime. And all you delusional Conor fanboys can try to hold on for dear life and just not admit that he's done, he's washed up. And at the end of the day, it really just boils down to the fact that he doesn't train like a high-level athlete or he's not living a lifestyle that is conducive to being a high-level athlete. And if you're not doing that, 
Well, the results ain't going to be there, bro. I don't care how many cool KOs you got back in the day. I don't care if you knocked Aldo out way back in the 90s. It don't mean shit these days. If you're not training like a ranked fighter, Justin Gagey has done nothing but improve every single time he's fought. And he is the best he's ever been. This is a better Justin Gagey that fought Habib for the belt. And even that was an improved patient Gagey. Connor is screwed. Okay, just accept it. Just admit it. Yes, yes. Everything can happen. I said that Dustin Poirier was going to be Justin Gagey. Connor can land his little lucky left hand. 100%. But guess what? He don't have the same precision. He doesn't have the same timing. He doesn't have the same speed. He doesn't have the same hunger. He doesn't have the same fucking ability anymore to land it and set it up perfectly. And I hate to break it to you, Connor's style, let's just say it how it is, it's outdated. It's an outdated style. That's a 2016, you know, killer on the block that would still do well if we brought the 2016 Connor back today. That guy's long gone. Even that 2016 version of Connor McGregor ain't going to be champ these days. Just accept it. Justin Gage is going to clean up shop. Okay? I don't really like this matchup for Connor because at least Michael Chandler, you had it that he was a low IQ guy when he gets in the cage. He's a big brawler that loses his mind, that turns into an ogre mid-fight after he gets hit a couple of times. I get it. Although I picked Michael Chandler to blitzkrieg Conor McGregor, get him with a couple of low kicks, and we know Conor's fragile these days. Whenever he's the nail, he gets cleaned up, he gets finished. He's just not as tough as he used to be. Conor had a much better chance against Michael Chandler. Again, I'm going to keep saying he has a chance. He does. He could land a lucky left shot. Okay? He could. It ain't going to happen. Connor's chances just went from about, I don't know, 20% to beat Michael Chandler to 8%, 5% to beat Justin Gagey. This is not good. Now, again, this is going to piss some people off, and I've said this in the past. I would have rather have Conor McGregor take a tune-up fight like he did with Cowboy Cerrone back in the day. And this was a 2020 version of Conor. The 2021 version of Conor wasn't as good as the 2020 version of Conor. The 2022 version of Conor wasn't as good as the 2021 version of Connor. The next Connor we're about to see is the worst version we'll ever see. He's going to be a guy that's coming off of the sauce. His hormones are going to come crashing down to the basement, way below what they've ever been before. He's going to be at his worst, his sloppiest, his sluggiest, and his weakest mindset ever. Okay? And he's going to be fighting the direct opposite of this. Why? Why can't we get him a tune-up fight? Why can't we get him a fight in which there's probably a guaranteed win? Or, I don't know, maybe an 80% chance to win. You want to kill his career? Do it. You want to go all or nothing? Do it. You'll make a big payday. Justin Gagey is taking this matchup because it's a fucking joke. And it's such a joke. It's an easy payday. Why not? That's what Ali Abdelaziz told him. This guy's a joke. He ain't fucking serious. You're going to clean this clown up in one round. Son, land a couple of those low kicks. He's done. Okay? Connor should fight Patty Pimblett. Connor should fight Jordan Levitt. Connor should fight Jared Gordon. These are the matchups that Connor should be taking on. These are tough fights for Connor McGregor. All right? These are the tough matchups that I want to see. Not Justin Gagey. Listen, at this point, I don't really care that much. His career has gone out the drain. Shout out to him. This is not an attack on his character. This is not a diss to everything that he's done. Conor McGregor has one of the most inspiring careers ever. He is always going to be one of the most entertaining fighters ever, okay? He changed the game. He's still a boss. It doesn't mean he's got it anymore. Just accept it, okay? Just get a grasp of it, guys. Accept that it's over. Conor McGregor's not in the same ballpark as Justin Gagey. He ain't ever gonna be ranked, okay? Conor McGregor, should be fighting Jared Gordon, okay? That's a tough matchup for him. That's a guy with a nice hard head, a nice hard noggin that's going to get in Connor's face and, and really make him pay. And I'm not bullshitting when I say this. You think, oh, you disagree? Tell me why. When's the last performance we've seen from Connor that was impressive at all, okay? Um, Cowboy Cerrone, Cowboy got KO'd twice before then, and that was 2020. You're going back three years, buddy. Three years for the last win. And other than that, you're going to have to go back to 2016. Okay? But they're taking a big risk. And it's too risky. I would have rather have Connor came back to fight 
in a tune-up match. Jared Gordon, Patty Pimblett. People want to see Patty get KO'd. People want to see Connor win. He gets a win there. Maybe he takes a step up in competition. Fights someone at the top of the rankings. Maybe a Dan Hooker. He gets a win then. Then he fights Justin Gagey. Imagine the hype that Connor would have behind his name if he had gotten a couple wins. You know what Connor's hype is going to be like after he gets destroyed by Gagey? It's going to be the worst it's ever been. Then people are going to accept it. And you know what? Connor McGregor is going to get this confidence, the already shaken confidence that he has. He's going to get it wiped out completely. And he's probably going to retire after this. And we're probably not going to see him fight for another couple of years. Then he'll be 38. Then he'll have his last ever fight, his last two raw. He'll most likely get KO'd then too. And he'll most likely look like Chuck Liddell in that one. Because goodness gracious, it's not just the damage. It's what he's doing to his body in the offseason. He's an addict. Just wake up, bro. It's aging him big time. I hope that the UFC doesn't make it. Yes, they'll capitalize off of hype, but you have to understand the ramifications. If he loses this, he's out for years, all right? It's going to be a vicious, violent loss. You're not going to see him for a while. It's time to wake up. It's time to be realistic about his career. Listen, Connor's done a lot for the game. Let's reward him. Let's get him a winnable matchup, okay? What are people going to say? Oh, wow, you're taking on Cans. You'll never be a champ. He's already been a fucking double champ. He's done everything. You can't shit on the man, okay? So let's have him fight a Can, someone he can actually beat up. When I say Can, I'm, I'm not actually, I don't actually mean a bum. What I mean is let's have him fight Jared Gordon, okay? And you might say, oh, shut the fuck up. He destroys Jared Gordon. Really? You're full of shit. You're full of fucking shit. I can't stand it. It pisses me off. People need to stop acting like this guy has it anymore. He doesn't. He's doing everything in his life that makes you shitty at fighting. Okay? Name one thing that is bad for a high-level athlete. He's probably doing it, bro. Just accept it. Can't stand this matchup. Justin Gage is going to clean him up. Horrible. Until next time. What's up, guys? It's Lucas Tracy MMA, and I'm wondering if you're trying to look like Yoel Romero. Well, if you don't have his genetics, that's impossible, but I could at least help you get halfway there with my ultimate lifting program. And if you're a beginner, my novice lifting program. These are programs that I've used my nine years of experience in the gym to make so that you can put on as much muscle as possible in as little amount of time as possible. And it'll also give you a variety of workouts so that you never get tired of the gym. So if you're interested, click the link in my description. And for a discount, use code MMA for 30% off.